Hi kids! Today we will learn a type of data chart which is called line graph. So let's start. First of all, data chart is a type of diagram or graph where data is represented by various symbols. It can be bars, lines, and slices, etc. Charts makes it easy to understand large quantities of data and the relationship between parts of data. Data given in the form of charts is read more quickly. There are different types of charts. Today, we will learn a type of data chart, which is called line graph. A line graph is also a type of data chart where information or value of data are displayed as a series of dots or points connected by line segments. It makes comparison easier, as plotted peaks and dips makes it easy to compare the values. Let's learn it more with the help of examples. Sale of garments was noted down for a particular company for a period of five months, that is, January to May. 15,000 garments were sold in January. 12,000 garments were sold in February. 19,000 garments were sold in March and so on. We have to draw this information in the form of a line graph. First of all, let's give a title to our graph. Let it be Sale of Garments. Now, we always have two axes in a graph, x-axis and y-axis. We depict on type of information on x-axis and other on y-axis. Here, the two types of info we have are names of months, which is textual information, and sale of garments in a month, which is our numeric information. Always show numeric information on y-axis preferably. Let y-axis be for showing the sales. So make it sales. And let x-axis be showing names of months, which is our textual information. So mark it months. As we make a scale along the y-axis, to show the numeric values, for making that scale, first see the range of values that we have to show on the scale. Here, the quantitative or numeric data we have is in the range of 12,000 to 22,000. That means we have to show numbers in the range of 12,000 and 22,000. So let's make a scale showing values 10,000 to 25,000 so as to accommodate all the numbers we have. And on x-axis, write the names of months. Sales for January are 15,000 garments. So we will make a dot along the month of January and the sales 15,000. Now, this dot corresponds to month of January and sales 15,000 garments. Now, plot the information, which is sales for February are 12,000 garments. So, we will make a dot along the month of February and the sales 12,000. Now, this dot corresponds to month of February and sales 12,000 garments. Now join the two dots using a line. Now plot the next information. Sales for the month of March are 19,000 garments. So we will make a dot along the month of March and sales 19,000. Now this dot corresponds to month of March and the sales 19,000 garments. Similarly, plot all the information, join the dots, and the line graph is ready.
Now let's read the line graph. Graph says sales in January is 15,000 garments, whereas sales in February is reduced to 12,000, which is 3,000 lesser than January. And then sales again increase to 19,000 garments in March and sales further increase to 25 garments in April. That is, the sales reached its peak point, which is 25,000 garments. And sale decreased by 3,000 and is 22,000 in May. So we can clearly see the trends using the peaks and dips shown by a line graph. So kids, we learned how we can make a line graph for a given data and also how to read it. Now, let's make one more line graphs for practice. Number of people who watched a particular movie was noted down for a week. Sunday, 20,000 viewers. Monday, 18,000 viewers. Tuesday, 19,000 viewers, and so on. We have to draw this information into a line graph. First of all, let's give a title to our graph. Let it be Number of Viewers. A graph always has two axes. And we depict two types of information on two different axes of the graph. Here, two types of info we have are Names of Days, which is textual information, and Number of viewers of the movie, which is our numeric information. Let y-axis be for showing the number of viewers. So mark it viewers. And let x-axis be showing names of the days, which is our textual days. So mark it days. As we make a scale along the x-axis to show the numeric values. For that, First see the range of values to show on the scale. The quantitative or numeric data we have is in the range of 14,000 to 24,000 viewers. That means we have to make a scale that accommodate values showing 14,000 to 24,000. So let's make a scale showing 10,000 to 25,000 so that it accommodate all values. And on x-axis, write the names of names of days. Numbers of viewers on Sunday are 20,000. So we will make a dot along the day of Sunday and number of viewers 20,000. Now this dot corresponds to the day of Sunday and 20,000 viewers. Now plot the next information. Number of viewers on Monday are 18,000. So we will make a dot along the day of Monday and viewers 18,000. Now this dot corresponds to day of Monday and 18,000 viewers. Now join the two dots using a line. Now plot the next information. Numbers of viewers on Tuesday are 19,000. So we will make a dot along the day of Tuesday and the viewers 19,000. Now this dot corresponds to day of Tuesday and viewers 19,000. Similarly, plot the dots for all days. Join the dots using a line and our line graph is ready. Let's read the line graph. Our line graph says 20,000 people watched the movie on Sunday, which decreased by 2,000 on Monday. So it's 18,000 people on Monday. And then on Tuesday, number of viewers increased to 19,000. On Wednesday, number of viewers decreased to 16,000. On Thursday, number of viewers decreased to 14,000. 
On Friday, number of viewers increased to 15,000. On Saturday, number of viewers increased to 24,000. So there is a big rise in the number of viewers on Saturday. So a line graph clearly shows the peaks and dips, where peaks are showing increase in the numeric values on y-axis. And dips are showing decrease in the numeric values on y-axis. So kids, today we learned what are line graphs and how to read and draw a basic line graph. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.